This morning on today's home, turning the volume down. Now, if you've got noisy neighbors or you're just looking for a little more peace and quiet in your house, today's contributing do-it-yourself expert Lou Manfredini has some sound solutions for us. Lou, good morning. Nice to see you. Besides keeping our sanity, why is it important <laughs> to reduce the noise in our house? Well, there's studies that have shown that too much noise can make you nervous, cause hypertension, you know, you can't relax. I mean, so many of us have busy lives. And just the annoyance. Mm -hmm. I mean, people say, gosh, you know, I, I did this room addition and I hear the bathroom every time the toilet flushes. Yeah. It drives me crazy. So why would you want that stress? How does noise travel through walls, through the apartments? Well, it, it, there's, a, there's a complete science about it. You know, a lot of it is contact, it's vibration. It's very difficult to isolate because it works through the building process, whether it's the framed walls, the brick walls, and that vibration is what's the hardest to eliminate when it comes to controlling sound. All right, one of the great ways to reduce is Insulation. Simplest way. This is Simplest a, way. This is a yeah. product by Certainty called Noise Reducer, and what's unique about it is that it's a little bit denser. It has a larger film on it to help capture the sound. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is I was putting this all together. I was amazed to find how many of these products were green as far as their environmental impact. Oh, this particular great. one has a green guard, and it's actually for schools and children. Which what's unique about that is that it doesn't offer a lot of uh, organic, you know, VOCs, volatile mm -hmm. organic compounds during the installation process. Does this mean you have to be opening up the walls? Got to open up the walls, basement. maybe yeah. you're doing a basement, maybe you're doing that bathroom, maybe you have a bathroom in the center of the house or the apartment that, geez, you hear people in it. It's a little embarrassing right. when someone goes to the bathroom, they flush the toilet. This is the type of product you would put in. Not the least expensive option to do it. You got to take open up a wall, right. but you can do it. And you can do it yourself. Right. All right, okay, moving on over here. What do we got here? This is an interesting kind of glue, an adhesive that helps reduce It's sound. an adhesive, it's called green glue. Now it's not green in the sense other than the color. Right. What it does is you apply this to some drywall. Say you've got a noisy neighbor upstairs. You can put an additional coat of this of drywall on your ceiling. The glue remains flexible. You screw it up onto the ceiling. And what it does is it creates a break, a, a, a little gap to capture the sound. And when you're done and you finish it, it looks exactly like the ceiling that you had. Oh. So this is something that's fairly easy other than you know you're hanging drywall you're gonna have big muscles when you're done lifting that drywall up <laughs> but it, it really helps to isolate the sound can reduce the sound transference by 20 percent really yeah. so okay so really but you have to be doing the ceilings this is only for for ceilings or is walls you can use it for walls everywhere. as well you can okay. use it for walls floors as well too? floors as well okay great now Good to walls know. Okay, moving on you, over you here. talk about walls this is the elaborate way to go and this one here is a tracking system here's a track isolation brackets here to help absorb the sound. Insulation. Right. This is a noise barrier here and then the drywall gets attached to the metal. I mean this is a whole system in This itself. is a whole system. This, this is, is going to be an expense, a more expensive solution. About a thousand dollars to do 50 feet of wall. So if you live in an area where you're building a remodel and you know right. you've got traffic and you want to really control it, this is the way to go. Okay, now what about carpeting on floors? I mean that's something, I mean especially if you have wood floors, I mean that's something you should be thinking about too, This right? is a product from a company called Homosote. It's been around for a hundred years. It, this is a green product. Okay. It's post-consumer. You lay this down over your subfloor, then the homosote goes on there, mm -hmm. then your hardwood or your carpeting can reduce the sound transference by up to 20%. So noisy floors, you want to eliminate that contact from it. You can use it on walls as well. I used to use it when I was building houses on the outside. All right, now what do we got over here? This is actually, if you want to reduce sound, you can actually, you want to introduce some sound. White noise, when you turn this on. I love that machine. What, I can't hear you. What'd you say? I love it. I can't I hear you. I've got I the white it. nose machine on. This creates a sound. It sounds crazy, but it fills and fills the room with a white noise in the background. It eliminates the annoying sound. Correct. Babies crying, cars honking horns. It, it's less than $100, and then there's more elaborate systems for larger spaces. And then this can help put the baby to sleep, correct. too, sometimes. I'll go All right. Sleep right Lou now. Manfredini, thank you very much.